let the interview begin. The Before Winners podcast, I'm here with Ilya Volok. Hi, Ilya. Thanks for being here. Yes. Nice to meet you guys. How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? Very good. Very good. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank uh, you. Same. So, um, first question, I'd like to ask how you got into the acting industry. Um, you know, I'm originally so from the former, you know, Soviet Union from Ukraine, and um, I, uh, you know, I decided I wanted to become an actor. I went to uh, to Moscow study to it's called Moscow Art Theatre School. Okay, I mean it's it's a pretty you know rigorous uh, process. You have to pass. But yeah, the the competition is about when you start auditioning. It's about uh, like 300, 300 people per per spot, and then wow. yeah. So it's basically um, yeah. So they um, accepted me into you know Moscow Theater, and that's how you know my acting career basically yeah. started. Ah, it's awesome. So the role I know you mostly for is from Power Rangers Wild Force um, as Master Oog, I think you you played. So what was it like? How did you get the role? And what was it like being part of that show? Well, you, you know, basically in, in um, the Hollywood, standard procedure for actors is the audition process. Yeah. So your agent sends you for... Um, you know, an audition, and then uh, maybe you go once, and then you, they call you back for a callback. And uh, uh, at least when it was with the Power Rangers, which was you know quite a while ago, that was still the system. Now, now it's done a lot of done through you know remotely. You put yourself on tape, and you know at that time it was still you know going to the office and um, you know auditioning, and that's basically how I got the role by auditioning, how pretty much 99% of the roles you get is by auditioning. So sometimes they offer you the part, which in it's a, it's more an ex, uh, exception than a rule. Yeah, of course. So what was it like being part of that show? You know, uh, it was great. I mean, th that was actually from the actor uh, actor's point of view. For me, it was an interesting experience because I never played a uh, part like that. I mean, it's uh, sort of you know monster, but then as an actor, you try to humanize it and you try to bring human qualities to it. And actually, that particular uh, storyline for Master Org, I think they written you know fairly well because. You know, I had a backstory, you know, I had a, you know, woman I loved and then it was basically an answered love. And then that, that's how I become, I, I yeah. became a Power Ranger. Yeah. I mean, the, the Master Master Org. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and um, so, but again, in the, as an actor, you try to bring as many human qualities to the most uh sort of even if it's a heightened reality you still try to you know ground it and yep. uh, you know you know make it human so that was that was fun and then again the process you know the makeup and you have like a you know they my character had a third eye and yeah. i would blink and i mean that that was uh all um great fun yeah i can imagine so because it was amazing to watch um the show and obviously your character had a lot of details as you said to the costume and with the eye yeah so. yeah 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 it was um and um yeah it was um i mean and you could um again you could go with this character to a more extreme yeah. Length, then, then, then it would be uh, just uh, you know, so to say, you know, you know, regular, um, everyday, of course, yeah, you know, person. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So he, he, you know, he, he opens your imagination. Yeah, the for way sure. you yeah. go with it. Yeah. 
Um, so what are some of your other favorite roles you've been part of? I know you're in like Air Force One, Indiana Jones. Yes. Um, what are some of your favorite roles you've played? You know, I approach every role with the. Um, it's part of me being, um, I guess I call myself a method actor, uh, which basically making, you know, they, there's a lot of mis misconception about method, but basically method is making things personal for yourself. And uh, so I pro approach every role with that in mind. And you, tr you try to bring your yourself into the role rather than having some kind of an abstract idea, you, again, you're using your, um, you know, senses, your emotions, your needs, and then, and then adjust it a little bit, you know, the character, maybe something, you know, in the walk or, or, or a movement or uh, uh, some, you know, then you, you create behavior. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, um, it's, I, I try, I mean, it's hard to say with the favor. I mean, of course you don't get in, in the film and TV industry, you don't get to play stuff that you could, for example, do in a theater because yeah. I mean, you know, I also do theater and I do, um, you know, you could get a great role. Like, you know, I do my one man show called Diary of a Madman. And then that you go through the whole scope of emotions yeah. and, create a huge arc and uh, that's something you really uh, could uh, challenge yourself as an actor. In the film, I'd say, um, again, we talk maybe major films like Mission Impossible, also Gemini Man, you know, which it, it was about, uh, it came out about uh, a year and a half ago uh, with um, Will Smith. I had a you know, yeah. big scene with him. So I would say those, because it's like a major Hollywood films, I put them as um, maybe priority, but, but there's a lot of great, you know, great roles, guest stars and TV in a yeah. television um, shows and stuff. So, yeah. Cool. That's amazing. Thank um, you. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, what are you currently working on at the moment, if anything? I film. I just the beginning of the year. Strangely enough, it was quite busy. I did uh, uh, this. Um, I had like a you know a lead role. Like it is basically first male lead role uh, opposite this uh, young lady who played my daughter. It's. Uh, it's called the balloon animal. It's about the this family who run a traveling circus, and it's a father oh. and a daughter. And yeah, it's uh, di was directed by a um, young uh, female uh, director, M. Johnson. She's she's great, and it was a, you know such fun working it because it's. I mean, I had a lot of. I had a lot of. I had like. 15 major scenes in the movie you know oh no nice. so cool. yeah so it's it's gonna you know it's gonna come out to festivals it's uh independent you know gonna hit like in, in independent kind of a uh movie with a smaller budget but it's a great story and you know great character to play so and you know it, Currently, constantly auditioning. I mean, there's a lot of there was a lot of stuff, you know. Now where where the industry picks up, yeah. And uh, you know, I did also an episode of the. Uh, it's like this political satire show called "Let's Get Real." Um, it's on Fox network and uh, it's uh, they use actors and they use puppets oh cool nice and and, it, and it's a political like a political kind of a uh, oh i know what you're going about yeah where they pick like the prime minister or the president and the they depict those characters 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and I think it's now it's gonna be like a reg. Uh, they did like one thing special. I think now it's gonna be more on a regular basis. So I did that and uh, yeah, and uh, and Kara, you know, comes, I'm, I'm, I'm basically the work as an actor in even the, when you not filming, it never stops. I mean, we're working on this two projects uh, for the, um, it's, a, it's a theater productions that we are um, developing yeah. with the, both of them two, they call it like a two-hander, it's two-person shows. So yeah, and um, so that hopefully towards the end of the year, we're gonna we're gonna have well, productions of that. So that's um nice. that's really cool to her. I'm glad that you've stayed active through all this craziness in the past. Yeah, year. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That's. I mean, it, it's your. It's your. It's sort of a like uh, like somebody said the acting profession. It's not uh, really a job. It's an illness that you have. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. you you don't turn off. It's not a nine to five job. It's a, it's a kind, of, kind of you constantly yeah. in the process. Of yeah, I totally get that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So obviously, I know you can't predict what roles you're going to get, but what are your plans going forward? Oh, you know, it's uh, just grow. First of all, I guess it's always about growing and challenging yourself and um, you know creating stuff also for yourself not only auditioning but also try to we're also working on this uh, film that we're trying to co-produce uh, with um, a couple of friends so that's also in the process um, you know this way you you know create more opportunities for yourself yeah exactly you know and more more I guess more you become more in control in that way. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So yeah, so that's you know. So it's also we're working. In fact, when we're done with our interview here, you know, I'm gonna jump on um, on the phone with the, on on, Scott, on um, Zoom with the, you know my partners and to yeah. discuss that. So yeah, it's. Uh, Nice. That's really cool to hear. Thank you. Thank you. I have one final question I'd like to ask you, and that's um, throughout your career, um, what are some of your biggest achievements, accomplishments, or something that's uh, meant a lot to you to achieve in your time as an actor? You know, I would definitely, well, if I look back, getting you know, I probably would look and define several steps and stages. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that I went and auditioned for the most part theater to other uh, surprise of people who knew me because I came from sports and, uh, you know, I was more like on the shy side. And, uh, but when they knew that I'm enrolled in most part theater, I mean, that was for people who was uh, uh, surprised. They be, yeah. You know, it's firstly, totally different from, the, you know, the, the atmosphere I was in, you know, surrounding the sports and, and then basically change. You turn pretty much 180 degrees and, uh, you know, went to... So that was a yeah. big step, yeah. And then getting accepted into a Moscow theater and three other theaters that's another achievement then actually coming to hollywood yeah you know course. basically you basically going into unknown because i didn't speak english and um you know in in the soviet in in moscow i had already laid out you know path for me you know working and i had to refuse that and basically go into the totally unknown world yeah, yeah, yeah. again with an idea to be come working actor in Hollywood. And, and uh, so that was 
another step, then another step when I started working, you know, booking jobs and and then, and then basically also getting in uh, invited. Well, again, auditioning for the actor's studio. To, yeah, the actors. Yeah, so that was also, you know, I would. So those um, and actually, you know, putting again, putting putting uh, one my uh, one um, my one man show that also I didn't know how it's going to turn out, and it was a, you know tremendous amount of work and everything and then doing that and taking it to new york i mean so yeah so basically i, I would when i'm looking back that I, I guess those are the steps that were yeah the most important little, yeah. yeah important you know, and were changing and improving uh my you know life and career yeah yeah but something something I learned that, well, looking back, so not be you know having the courage to take that step. I think whether whatever it's in acting or just in life or changing your direction of your life and getting out of the comfort zone, I think it's one of the most difficult things overall. Yes, I agree. Uh, because that's the fear of the unknown and you know my director with whom we were working on the one man show he said you know taking a step into an uh, abyss you know the abyss not knowing yeah. what's going to happen and and uh, and not being afraid of uh, being ridiculed and stuff like that so i encourage and I still encourage you, my, you know, constantly reminding myself about it. You know, you don't don't get too comfortable with what you have. Yes. You know, hundred percent. Yeah, because everything's always because changing, it, isn't it? Yeah. Because what did you say? I'm sorry. Can you repeat it? What's uh, changing? Uh, everything's always changing, isn't it? The, yeah, the world. The, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The world is changing. Yeah, yeah, and you have to be able to adjust. Yeah. To change. And find your answer to that and respond. Yeah. You know, you know, of course, some people finding a response in just kind of closing in and, um, you know, hiding, which is a natural reaction, but also it takes some courage to, to face it. And, uh, yeah. yeah. I totally agree. That's amazing the way to look at everything. And, it's great to see how far you've come from um, Moscow, and it's amazing. Yeah. It's, been, it's been amazing to talk to you as well today. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, anytime. Yeah, I'll be glad to. Uh, I mean, if you feel like you know, we could. Be, I don't want to like. I said you know, told twenty minutes, but if you if you have another question, I mean, it's okay. You know, if if you yeah. have, if you want to ask something, it's fine. If not, I mean, whatever whatever works. No, this has been perfect for today. Um, if we want to talk, great. Uh, I can get in contact with you again in the future if we want to talk yeah. again. So, awesome. Great, great. All right, awesome. thanks so much. And I wish you and your uh, audience all the best. And, uh, Thank you. Good all luck the best. with everything. Thank you. Take, all the best to yourself. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. You're very welcome. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you.